Hey guys, welcome to Craft Controversy. I am Adam. This is PJ. And in this very, very special review, we have, for the first time, we will review a Wicked Weed beer. This is their Black Angel, which is a black sour ale aged with tart cherries and aged in bourbon barrels. That sounds delicious. So, yeah, right? Thank you, Stacy. <laughs> yes, our, our good friend Stacy brought this back from the breweries in Asheville, North Carolina. So she was in there for a couple days. Brought this one back, and I guess let me read this really short description. Uh, Black Angel is aged in bourbon barrels on over one and a half pounds per barrel of tart Michigan cherries. It rests in the barrels for approximately eight to 10 months and is then uh, blended to achieve complexity. So yeah, sounds amazing. And this label, I won't, I was gonna get up and make it zoom in, but I think the hold it up close. It's really cool, like purple, kind of a pink color. Kind of reminds me of a Tool album cover or some kind of artwork, but yeah, really cool. Comes in at uh, seven, seven point two percent ABV, and this was bottled on five six two thousand sixteen. Yeah. So what more do we need to say? I'm excited. I've, been, I I, I've had one other Wicked Weed beer, and that was it. I've had zero other Wicked Weed beers. <laughs> this will be a good one. And it was 16 bucks. Cheating the store on the snow. Yeah, it pours out a, like a brown ale. Reminds me of Coke, like the fizzy. And... Get this portioned out just right. I can smell it already, though. Oh yeah, it's got a nice sour smell to it all the way from here. Kind of like a tobacco-y, leathery baseball glove. <laughs> baseball glove. <laughs> sure. That's actually a little darker than I thought, even though it does say black ale, sour ale. Yeah. There's no light going through except that bottom, just a slight tinge of it just it reminds me of a murky almost, almost looks like a quad kind of like in the color department kind of murky brown but yeah oh yeah it smells like heaven super sour smell up front super funky you get a touch of cherry like my mouth is watering as I smell it it smells really tart, really sour. What else were you getting? Whatever that, what you said, that's what I'm getting. This smells amazing. Mm -hmm. This is probably one of the better smelling wow. sours that I've. It's kind of like a funky cheese, like not. Yeah, like a really. Almost like a blue cheese or something, something even more funky than that. It's only getting like a, a little barrel. I get a little licorice too. I can see that, yeah. It's only getting like a hint of the barrel. Like that, if it's aged for ten months, you can't really. Yeah. You got to really reach for that, that barrel. But it is there. I, um, I mean, I may be stretching, but it's like a touch of maybe a very slight touch of vanilla. But it smells like, um, uh, like the Abbe de Saint Bonchine, yeah, BFG or BFM. I get a, and a touch of coffee, kind of like a roasted malt. Wow, yeah, it smells amazing. <laughs> it smells really good. So yeah, cheers, Wicked Weed. Wow. It's not as tart as I thought it would be. I do get the cherries though. I think it smacks yeah. you with cherries right up front. Um, it initially smacks you with sourness, but then it, it kind of balances out towards the back of your palate. And it's, it just kind of balances out. It mellows out like it's just yeah. smooth. like. And you get the, get the little bit of that bourbon at, at the end of it. Wow. It's really nice. It's really it's really balanced. Um, 
I was hoping for a little more of a pucker yeah. on the finish, but no, this is really, really, really good. The cherries aren't quite as prominent as I thought they would be, but they said, what, one and a half pounds per barrel? I've, I've heard of some being way more than that, so um, it's, it's there, but it's not in your face, cherry. I think that if you're going to introduce someone to sour beers, I think this would be a great starter. Because it's sour enough to where you get that, like, stimulate your palate, but it's not too sour where you'd be turned off by it. Yeah, that's, that's true. It's kind of like a raspberry dark chocolate truffle with, <laughs> like, a really sour raspberry. I don't know. It's kind of it's kind of decadent, too. But, yeah, I, I'm... The longer it kind of sits after you sip, the more cherry that, um kind of lingers around the mouth but yeah I'm, I can see the hype because they put out they put out a lot of different sours so I know our friend Stacy took a picture and it was like this whole row and I thought oh god I don't know I don't know what to get I just got I told her to grab that one because it sounded the best but there's a lot out there so yeah Wicked Weed's pretty fucking awesome I really liked it it kind of reminds me of the Tart of Darkness just not quite as tart as the tart of darkness, as tart of darkness is. Yeah. Who makes that? The brewery. Yes, I've had, yeah, I've had that. It's a little more sour, but I, I gotta say, this is more funky. I like the funk on this beer a lot, which is different from sour. You know, you don't, the funk and the sour don't, aren't the same thing. I don't know, and it's hard to describe the funkiness. It's like the, like barnyard, like the, and that sounds terrible, but it's yeah. not. You know? Sweaty sock, but like in a good way. <laughs> <laughs> like stinky cheese, you know. And that, that tends to turn people off, but until you've tried it, you know, don't don't judge it. You just got to try it for yourself to understand. And once you try it, you'll be like, okay, I, can, I see what you're saying. But yeah, that, that's, that's what it reminds me of. And just a touch of uh, licorice. I just right, get licorice. Right, um, this is weird. This is, this is off the wall, but remember Dimatap? <laughs> that like, great cough, yeah. cough medicine? That, it, I get like this great something out of this. I don't like know. Like an off-grape flavor? Or? I guess. I don't know. I don't know if it's just because of all the purple on the label. That's because Dimatap is purple. I don't know. I love it. I think it's great. Um, I'm not blown away, but it is. No, I'm not blown away either. I'm not. It is a great beer. It is a really good beer. Sixteen dollars? Uh, you know, that's debatable, but you know. Well, they do age it for ten months, so they they gotta invest that much. Yeah, back that's in, true. So, so um, rating wise, I think I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go ninety. Uh, I'm gonna go ninety one on this one. I'm gonna go ninety. That's what I had in my head from the first sip. <coughs> God, it's man. not world changing, but it is. You can't go wrong with it. Yeah, excellent, excellent. Um, so yeah, I'm, it's ninety one for me, ninety from PJ. Uh, thanks again, Stacy, for yes, picking that you. up for us. Um, she's got another one. I don't know. Maybe we can get her to sit in with us. I don't know. <laughs> uh, hopefully we can. It's one of their peach sours, I think, or something. So. Please. Hopefully we'll convince her to do it and come and sit in with us. But um, yeah, really enjoyed it. So yeah, we're gonna drink the rest of this and enjoy it. See you soon again. Yep, we will be back with another beer review. So cheers to Wicked Weed, great brewery. Thanks, Stacy. <laughs> thanks, Stacy. So yeah, thanks for watching. We'll see you soon.